My name's Emma Hussa and I'm the Labor candidate for Penrith at the state election in 2015. Sleep last night was very, very interesting actually. Um, took quite a while to go to sleep and then um, once I was asleep it was extremely uncomfortable. Um, I lost the circulation in my hands and they were all numb and I think that was largely due to the fact that the ground was very unforgiving. Um, my tent blew over a couple of times in the night so that disturbed my sleep. Whilst I did get some sleep, it definitely wasn't of any quality and, um, and definitely not something that I would want to do every night. Um, I work with homeless people in my community and um, as I was going off to sleep last night, I was thinking largely about you know the guys that I feed down there um, under the bridge at Penrith and, um, and their stories. They were coming to sort of you know, play on my mind quite, quite substantially last night as I went to sleep and the guys that sleep in their cars and the ones that I know are sleeping down by the river, the ones that are sleeping under the bridge and on the trains. So they were very much on my mind last night and you know, at the, at the top of my mind. So this is my first sleep out. Um, definitely an experience, something that I was highly anxious about before I came. Um, I certainly made lots of steps and lots of preparation to be homeless just for one night, um, which I felt guilty about because it's not like people prepare to be homeless. Um, and it, it was very, um, I think very close to, I suppose, what you could do to experience this in a safe and controlled environment. Um, and I think it's a really good opportunity for people to experience something that they will probably never experience, hopefully, in their lifetime. Or they very well could, because it's, we're not that, that many steps away from becoming homeless, any of us. Um, I guess it's one night, and you know we've got people that live on the streets every single night for years and years and years. And my message to other people would be to come, to give this a go, to engage your community, to talk to people about the plight of homelessness and to be passionate and support um, you know, the lives of so many people who are affected by homelessness every single night. Um, it's, 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 it's uncomfortable, it's cold, it's hard, um, but the reality is people do this every day. So. You know, if we can get more Australians engaging in this event um, and understanding what homelessness is and how and why it happens, um, then I think we're on track to build a, a more compassionate Australia and certainly address some of the, the issues that cause homelessness and prevent it before some of our fellow Australians get there. The next step I hope is that um, the light continues to be shone on homelessness and people in the general community um, start to be you know, outraged by these things that are happening and, and they're called to action and I really hope that um, there's a response that engages government and business and not for profits to come and work together and manage the situation that we're currently facing.